We can now look at the other three types of report that we can uh, get from Project Tracker. So these can be turned on in, in two ways. Either we could just tick on the Show Reports button or in any of the three reports here. We can just click Turn on Reports. So the first one is a, a dashboard type of report where uh, we have a red, amber, green type status. So one's finishing on time, one's finishing late for example and these work uh, can be printed out or again copied to the clipboard and pasted into uh, uh, our combined progress report potentially but we also have this activity report which lists all the activities in the program and uh, currently we have all tasks here but we could select this to say completed tasks tasks due to start late if there's any of those and again these can be copied or printed to the clipboard but this works really well in combination with the dashboard reports so I could click on the uh, part of the pie with the activities finishing late and this will give me those activities uh, and these are telling me the the slips uh, the variances if you like so I can click on any part of the pie to uh, produce the report for me from the dashboard report. The project quality report, the other re report is a uh, DCMA type pro program uh, analytic which will go through and will tell us um, where if it's red where we're sort of breaching the accepted standards of planning quality and so uh, these activities have got missing logic which isn't great but again we can click on the pie and it will take us through to the activities uh, that breach uh, the, uh, the rules that we've set and these rules are set in the thresholds here so we can choose to ignore completed activities if we so wish and we can also select the daily threshold for high duration activities or high float uh, we haven't got any of those because it's quite a short project uh, but if we were say to change those to five potentially we'll see something happen yeah so so now we've got a uh, high float over five days and four activities with uh, duration over five days and in the threshold section we can set what is amber and what is green so if we were to go to the no predecessors uh, maybe increase that to ten and 15 if we wanted to be slightly looser that becomes amber because that's fitted 12% is between uh, 10 and 15 obviously and this again can be copied out and put as part of our progress report so there's three uh, reports there the dashboard the project quality and the activity report which further help us in our project tracking